you'll see. Red is for the heat of the hammam. Is this it? Are we here, Con? Yeah, it's that door yeah, there. Yeah, we're here. How exciting. Yeah. <laughs> If you're wondering what Liz and I are doing, carrying a couple of buckets into a strange building, relax, all is about to be revealed, quite literally. This is a hammam, which is a public bathhouse, and there's over 50 in Marrakesh alone. <laughs> hey Liz, I've paid for the whole works, let's Ooh. go. <laughs> ah, this must be the changing room. Yeah. Uh, excuse me? Okay, so we're ready to rock. Now, basically, there's three rooms here. There's a really hot one, like a sauna, a not-so-hot one, and then a cool one. I think we should definitely try the hot one. I think you're right. Not everyone in Morocco has a bathroom in their home, so they make washing a social occasion. Everyone brings their own mat to sit on, and before anything else, you relax and sweat out all the dirt. <sighs> I've got to put my hair up, on. I can feel the sweat trickling down my back. All those toxins are coming out. It feels healthy though, doesn't it? No, it feels wet. It just feels <laughs> dripping. Men and women come here at different hours so that they don't mix, and sometimes they even do it so it's different days of the week. And also, men see it as functional, so they'll come in, have a wash, and then go, whereas the women like to hang around and have a chat. That sounds like women or right, good old gossip. And it used to be the only place out of the house where they could come and spend time socially. Yeah, do you know what also I heard? Mums come here to choose future wives for their sons. Oh, no wonder they'd spend the best part of the day here. <laughs> Mind you, I couldn't have stayed in that heat all day, so we decided to have our wash and massage in the cooler one next door. Let's have a look what's inside our bucket. Yes, we've got our mats, of course, to sit on already. Yep. This bucket will be full of water, and this little bowl will be used to tip the water over yourself. And this glove is really coarse. It feels like sandpaper. Feel that, Liz. <laughs> yeah, and you put it on your hand and basically scrub yourself now we've got some traditional Moroccan toiletries. Now these are fascinating. This is actually soap and it's made from olive oil. Ooh, squidgy. Yeah, and in here, believe it or not, this is shampoo and it's made from clay. Ooh. Yeah. Now Muna and Sabra are gonna help us scrub down. Mm -hmm. In fact, here they are. You can wash yourself in the hammam, but it's traditional to be washed by friends, family, or people who work there. I feel Not like being in control of it is very good. <laughs> oh, it's very soft and lathery though. <laughs> really soft. Does it feel yeah. good? Yeah. Oh, yeah, mine's coming on now. I'll tell you what, girls, if you think you're somewhere that spreads warmth, take a look at this. 